Now we are going to discuss the multiple choice question on advanced accountancy. Become third year, semester six, Shivaji University, Kolhapur. It's a third part, which is last one. Question ninety eight. The classification of cash flow in was di dash. Options are given: operating activity, investing activity, finance activity, and all of the above. Here, first three activities in was in a cash flow. Therefore, option D is correct one. Question ninety nine. The cash flow arising from purchase and sale of dealings or trading is called as. Here, purchase and sale of dealings means purchase and sale of goods. It is an operating activity. Option A is correct one. The cash flow represent the extent to which expenditure have been made for resources intended to generate a future income. And cash flow is a investing activity. Option B is correct one. Question hundred and one. The activities regarding raising capital loans or a reducing capital or loans are called as a, it is a financing activity. Option C is correct one. Question hundred and two. The amount of cash spent or a paid is termed as it is a, a cash outflow. C in answers. Option B is correct one. Question hundred and three. Cash deposited into bank results in options are given cash inflow. Cash outflow, no flow of cash, A and B. Here, cash deposited into bank is a no flow of cash. Option C is correct one. Question hundred and four. The proceeds from sale of investment is classified as a investing activity. Option C is correct one. Question hundred and five. The refund of income tax received is classified under the head as an operating activity. Here. Option A is correct one. Question one hundred and six. Commission and royalty received. Which type of activity will you classify while preparing a cash flow statement? Here, commission and royalty received is a regular earnings is an operating activity. Option A is correct one. Question one hundred and seven. While preparing cash flow statement, payment of dividend is a di dash activity for every business enterprises. It's a dividend is a finance activity. Option C is correct one. Question hundred eight. Under which type of activity will you classify proceeds from sale of patent while preparing cash flow statement? Patents is an assets as an investing activity. Option B is correct one. Question hundred nine. Old furniture a return of would result in a there is a no flow of cash here. Option D is correct one. Question hundred and ten. Under which type of activity will you classify interest paid on long term borrowings while preparing a cash flow statement? Interest paid on long term borrowing is a financing activity. C in answers. Option C is correct one. Question hundred and eleven. Discount issued on making payment to suppliers would result in discount issued is a just only a concession. It's not a inflow or outflow. Therefore, it is a no flow of cash. Option C is correct one. Question hundred twelve. What is the net amount of source or use of cash when fixed assets having book value rupees fifteen thousand is sold? Sold means a source at a loss of rupees five thousand. Loss means we have to deduct one fifteen thousand minus five thousand is a ten thousand sources. C in answers. Source of rupees ten thousand is option A is correct one. Question hundred and thirteen. Cash equivalent in rupees. Options are given. Cash at bank. Short term investment. A and B inventory. Here, cash equivalent includes cash at bank and short term investment. Here, option C is correct one. Question hundred and fourteen. Cash equivalent includes items such as options are given a treasury bills, market instrument, fixed deposit for thirty days, and all of the above. Here, treasury bills, market instruments, and fixed deposit for thirty days are as a cash equivalent. Therefore, all of the correct answers. Option D is correct one. Question hundred and fifteen. Which of the following is included in financing activity that result into inflow of cash? Options are given. Proceed from issue of share capital. Proceed from loan taken from bank. And proceed from sale of building. Here, issue of share capital and loan taken from bank. These are financing activity. Therefore, option D is correct one. Machinery cost is fifty thousand. On which 
10,000 depreciation has been activated. Depreciation is to be deduct 1, 50,000 minus 10,000, it's a 40,000. Was sold at a profit of least 10,000. 40 plus 10 is a 50,000 is a flow of cash. See in answers. Option B is correct one. Question 117. Indian Accounting Standard 3rd issued by Didash. Accounting Standard 3rd issued by ICAI Institute of Chartered Accountant of India. Option D is correct one. Question 118. Changes in work capital are adjusted in a Didash activities in cash flow statement. Working capital is a as an operating activity. Therefore, it is adjusted in operating activity. Option A is correct one. Question 119. An investment normally qualifies as cash equivalent only when it is a short maturity of say Didash months or less from the date of purchase. Here, investments of 3 months or less than 3 months period is called as a cash equivalent. Option D is correct one. Profit on sale of fixed assets is Didash to from points from operating activities in a cash flow statement. Profit is to be deducted from funds from operating activities. Option B is correct one. Question 121. In case of financial enterprises, interest paid, interest issued, dividend issued are classified as a didash activities. Here, financial enterprises, interest paid, interest issued are a operating activity. Here, option A is correct one. Question 122. In case of non-financial enterprises, interest paid, interest issued, dividend issued are classified as a it's a financing activity. Option B is correct one. Question 123. GST means goods and services tax. Option A is correct one. Question 124. GST is a indirect tax. Option B is correct one. Question 125. CGST means Central Goods and Services Tax. Option A is correct one. Question 126. SGST means a State Goods and Services Tax. Option A is correct one. Question 127. IGST means Integrated Goods and Services Tax. Option B is correct one. Question 128. If the supply is Intrastate, there will be options are given CGST, SGST, IGST, A and B. If the supply is intrastate, there are two types CGST and SGST. Here A and B correct one. Therefore, option here D is correct answer. Question 129. If the supply is interstate, there will be IGST, integrated goods and services tax. Option C is correct one. Question 130. Taxable events for GST is a options are given supply, service, manufacture and all of the above. Here taxable event for GST is a supply. Option A is correct one. Question 131. A GST registered person is a legally recognized as a didash of goods or services. Options are given supplier, consumer, manufacturer, investor. Here GST registered person is legally recognized as a supply of goods and services. Here, option A is correct one. Question 132. In general, the place of supply for service will be the location of the service, a die dash. It is a recipient. Option B is correct one. Question 133. The time of supply of goods shall be the earlier of the date of issue of die dash by the supplier or the date on which the supplier receives the payment with respect to the supply. Here, the time of supply of goods shall be the earlier of the date of issue of an invoice by the supplier. Here, option A is correct one. Question 134. The correct determination of place of supply will help us in knowing the didash of tax is a incidence of tax. Option C is correct one. Question 135. Didash is return form to file Every month of outward suppliers of goods and or services affected. Here, GSTR1 is a return form to file every month. Option A is correct one. Question 136. Didash is return form to file every month of inward supplies 
of taxable goods and or services affected claiming input tax credit here gst r2 is a return form option b is correct one question 137 a registered person supplying taxable goods shall issue a die dash for supply of goods on or before delivery of goods or making goods available to recipient here a tax invoice is correct answer option c is correct one question 138 the rate of gst chargeable on basic saving deposit accounts opened under pradhan mantri janadhan yojana here rate is a nil option d is correct one these are multiple choice questions and answers are given on last page these are the answers okay thank you